ริ่มแต่มวยดอลลาร์ขนมวยไทยเนี่ยที่เนี่ยบ้านในพระจำนวนสำหรับกรมครัวสารโลกเนี่ยกูดีนิ่งเอ็กซ์เซนซี่เลดี้สันชันต์แมนวอลคัมแกนทูกัมบูร์ดิโกลบูดิลอกซาวิสเอเชียทีวีทุนไนท์เดอะทีมของเราดิลอกจะมีโฟกัสเองยูโน่ปริมาร์ลีออนฮัลดูยูโปรโมทยูโน่ยูบิสเนสปัจจุบันฟอร์อินทร์เพเนอร์ยังอินทร์เพเนอร์ซึ่งมีความแตกต่างในใจระหว่างการขายมาร์เก็ตติ้งระหว่าง Advertising. Some people think it's all about Facebook. You know, something about newspaper. Anyway, I, I think it's important that uh, whether you are in business, whether you are uh, an industry or company or country, you gotta have some sort of uh, marketing, right? Some small, some big, some macro level, some micro level. But anyway, today I, I have the pleasure to have two people. Uh, who will share with us their view on what they think marketing and how uh, entrepreneur in Cambodia, particularly in the context of the ASEAN Economic Community, where you have to compete with the, you know, the bigger company coming from abroad, you know, and how do you, you know, make your brand, your company known to the customer? Anyway. Uh, well, welcome, Grant. Grant Curry. Thank you yeah. so much, Dr. Sa or Sapana. Well, yeah. Sapana. Yeah. 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 It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. yeah. As I told you before, um, when I first came to Cambodia, I actually watched your show to catch myself up on uh, you know, the business atmosphere in Cambodia. So it was a great resource for me, and now I'm so honored to actually be on the show. All right. All right. Be safe. Uh, uh, thank you, f u l for inviting me to join this event. Okay. Okay. And uh, you, 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 you with uh, you know All Dream, right? Which is a yeah a travel agency. Travel agent. Oh. No, it's not travel agent. It's a DMC. DMC it's, is what? This um, DMC is a destination management company. Oh. We are the two operator. Okay. We are different from the travel agent. Okay. Uh, and you know of uh, what? Last month, uh, you one of the four. A young entrepreneur who won the award, uh, Young Entrepreneur Award of the Year, right? Yeah. Well, congratulations! Thank you. Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to 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 win the award? I'm so excited because uh, before uh, I get awards, yes. actually we used to be uh, we we are on the top twelve already. Yes, yes. And then we try to search all. I I try to search all the profile for other eleven. Oh, and see, oh competition! They, eh? Yeah, and then I see all oh, they all of them are strong. And sometimes I'm not really confident that I can get it. Ah, you have, have, <laughs> you have to have confidence. Good. Well, what we say, welcome to the show. Okay. Ah, uh, so so uh, to me, I uh, as I said uh, uh, earlier, the stage is that Cambodia is in the ASEAN economic view now. Business is wide open. Company from ASEAN, from non-ASEAN country, are coming to our country every day, right? Bus load from Thailand, from Vietnam, plane load from Bangkok, from Singapore, from uh, Malaysia. So they're coming. Then some are visitor, you know. Some are coming to do business. Some are coming to invest. But they're coming, right? And uh, for the Cambodian company, uh, most of them are still very young, because let's face it, the economy just opened up uh, for last decade or so. Uh, some are very successful. Some are struggling to be successful, but one thing is clear that you know they need to think about how to promote themselves. And all the time I hear this confusing message: "Oh, you know, uncle, I do this, I do that," but not clear. So, Grant, you are your line of business is in marketing, right? Yes. Perhaps you can say a bit about you know uh, what your company does, and in the context of the larger marketing. So, like industry, if yeah. I can say. Yeah. So, what, yeah, what you said is it's it's very important right now. Cambodia is in you know in this huge growth uh, state right now, right? It's growing massively. International, not only international people are coming into the company, uh, country, but international companies are coming into the country, which you know is important uh, for uh, you know young Cambodian companies uh, like yourself. Um, you know, it's very important that you need to do marketing and mm -hmm. that you need to do this. Uh, You know, at a higher uh, level than some companies are currently doing, because um, you know it's, it's very important that 
the international companies that are coming in, mm. they're doing marketing. They, yes. they do this, they spend massive amounts on marketing, mm. and uh, you know that's all coming in. But we can, we'll talk about that later. But our company, we're yeah. a full service marketing what, what, company. What's the name again? Tango, Mango? Mango, Mango Tango. Mango, Tango. It's all the you, you won't forget it. Yeah, that's, I know. That's why, yeah. Yeah, so. But I'm thinking more. Mango Tango, but it's Tango Mango. Mango Tango. Mango Tango, Mango Mango Tango, Tango. Asia. That's the, okay. That's the okay. full name. Yeah. But no, we're a full serving for full service marketing agency. So uh, what do you mean by full service? So full service it means that um, when in Cambodia, I think when people think of marketing, they think of what's actually is just advertising, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you know, buying an ad on a uh, took to buying an ad in a magazine or on a you know, like the television, yeah, TVC, yeah, something like yeah. that. Uh, but marketing is actually much larger than that. Um, it involves the, what we call the full service. So it starts with planning, right? There's yeah. uh, market research and mm. customer segmentation. There's mm. all these things that you need to do uh, before Things you, you mean upstream that we, we don't see. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And so it's not as visible, right? So yeah. people, when you think of marketing, you don't always think of uh, this stuff because it's kind of behind the scenes. Yeah. And uh, but companies, it's very important that companies are doing this stuff because if you're going to go and spend, you know, however much money on an advertising mm. campaign, you need to know who your target is, you mm. know, what what your price point is. All of these things, you know, impact how you're going to spend your money, or mm. they should at least. Uh, so, so we really like to focus on, uh, you know, the the back, the, you know, that, that front end stuff too, like the, the back end where the market research, the customer segmentation. Uh, quantitative, qualitative research, all of that kind of stuff to make sure that uh, when we actually do go and spend the money on the advertising or when the company spends the money on the advertising, that we do it right. Mm. Okay. And then one thing after we've done the um, implementation, you also need to follow up. You need to uh, measure yeah. what you've done. Monitoring a bit. Exactly. Uh, because the, the impact, you mean, the impact. You, you need to see the impact. Uh, you, you need to measure it because if you don't measure it, then the next time you do your, you know, your next marketing yes. campaign, yes. Uh, you won't have anything to go off of because you mm. never measured the success mm. of the last one. So, you know, what, what's the definition of insanity? It's like doing the same thing yes. wrong over and over again. Yeah. You need to make sure that what you've done uh, worked last time yeah. so that the next time that you do it. So, so basically yeah. that you cover That's from upstream full, all the way to downstream the and then full circle exactly. monitoring. Yep. Uh, uh, say, what, what, uh, what are your companies doing? I mean, what did you do before, I mean, joining this company, though? Before, I used to work for one of the travel agents, uh, no, uh, two operators two operator, also. Yeah. And then, for, to work with them for almost 12 years. 12 years. And then well, I you don't look that own. old. <laughs> so, you know. So. And then I start my own business uh, on 2013. Okay. July. Okay. Wow. Three years ago. Yes. Okay. And, and then, uh, so... Uh, and now your business is what? Is uh, still in a travel yeah. tour? tour? What's tour. the difference? What difference between travel agency and tour company? What's the difference? The tour operator and travel agent is different. Like a uh, tour operator, we do the inbound business. Okay. We bring all the foreigners to yes. visit Cambodia. Okay. But the travel agent, most of them, they do outbound business. Okay. It means that they bring the local people okay. to outside the country. Okay. So and, and, and your business now is what? We are now is a tour operator. Okay. We are not a travel agent. But you mentioned DMC. What is it? Uh, you, you, you mentioned yeah. Destination Management, Management company. company. It's the same as a tour. It's a fancy word. Yes. It's a fancy word for a tour operator, right? And you are doing well because you win the award, right? Uh, okay, I can say like this because <laughs> <laughs> we keep uh, get, gaining quite and more and more okay. compared from year to year. Good. And to the last year, we can say that we reached our uh, targets. Okay, good, good, so, very good, very good. So well, we can say that, okay. <laughs> yeah, you're doing well. Good. All right, I think you, you can share with us uh, later on what you, you think. Uh, uh, what you can share to others. You don't have to tell the state your business secret, okay? Mm -hmm. But it's good to also give some idea on other, you know, things that you can do for other Cambodians who are uh, doing business to better understand the difference. So, um, Grant, you know, so full spectrum business, but in Cambodia, if you benchmark, you know, with advanced country, right? Or even ASEAN for that matter, right? Mm -hmm. ASEAN where you have the ASEAN 6, the more advanced like Singapore, where sophisticated. 
even Thailand very sophisticated mm -hmm. uh, marketing. Where do you see Cambodia vis-a-vis -vis the development, you know, of our marketing? So it's still uh, the, the biggest challenge that we find here as a marketing company is that people don't value marketing yet, right? They don't they don't see uh, that they need to do it uh, that much, or if they do do it, they they spend you know just a small amount on it uh, because they don't understand. I don't I don't think that they they realize the the impact of it. Lots of times we hear you know why do I need to do marketing? We're we're already successful. We're, mm. we're making money, and okay. you know you could be making the, the argument that we make at least for that is that. Uh, you could be making much more, mm. but that's this is all going to change. Like yeah. uh, if you look at, let's say, telecom yes. uh, operators, like yes. uh, you know, if you look back in the, the early two thousands, right? Yeah. There was there was just like two two telecom operators. I, I wasn't mm. here at that time, so I'm not exactly mm. sure. But um, you know, and so I'm sure that they didn't have to do that much advertising mm. back then because if you want, it's, it's a captive market. Yeah, if you wanted a plan. Uh, you know, you had two options to go and get the cell phone, so you mm. just went and got one or the other. And then around like the late 2000s, mm. all these other companies started moving mm. in, mm. and um, really, you know, the competition just ramped up uh, mm. very aggressively. So all of a sudden, these companies realized, oh, we need to start you know, doing marketing. We need mm. to do a lot of it. And uh, now I would say, you know, telecom in Cambodia, they're the best at it marketing mm. out of uh, of all the industries here because because of the competition, it, competition. it drove them to to learn it and become really good at it. But but uh, they're all, you know, big companies. Mm -hmm. So for them, they have to advertise because they, they understand the value of advertising. Of course. Yes, yes. Yeah. But, but, it, but if you, you, you lower down one knot, you know, to the, the Cambodian business community, you still feel that they have not appreciated the value of marketing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say so. I mean, and it's also... The smaller companies too, they're like, oh, we can't do mm. this this massive, you know, of course they don't have the budget, so yes. it's like the large cell come up with yes. but there's still stuff that they can be doing. Mm -hmm. um, the Small Business Association of America recommends mm. that companies, this is in America, yes, but yes, yes, same yes. thing, I mean, yeah, all this yeah. stuff applies across, uh, you know, seven to eight percent of your revenue mm. should be growth spent. Or net? Uh, gross or net? Gross. Gross revenue should wow, be Wow, that's a lot, then. Yeah, it's quite a bit. Yeah. I mean, um... So that's that's what you should be spending mm. on uh, marketing services. Yes. Yeah, but higher competition industries like uh, mm. Procter and Gamble and Unilever. Yeah, yeah. Those companies spend you know like fifteen percent of sales, mm. which is you know a much greater number than revenue. So, but these are global companies, though. These are global yeah. companies, but but it applies here. I mean, global companies are going to be moving into Cambodia, and mm. the reason that these global companies spend this much on marketing is because uh, it works, yeah. right? I mean, they wouldn't, it, it's not just, oh, we have this money, so we're just gonna go and spend it mm. on this, mm. even though it doesn't work. They, yes. they're, they're spending the money because it's mm. driving mm. sales and it's driving mm. more revenue for them in the future, so. Uh, you say, you know, you, you're not uh, Procter & Gamble, you're not Coca-Cola, you're, you're not the, the big company, uh, you're not Cooney, you know. Uh, but from your perspective, uh, as, a, as a small, uh, you know, Entrepreneur, you know, starting business for last three years. How do you define marketing, or what have you done? Because I'm pretty sure you must have done something right, you know, for to have the business uh, as you have now. Yeah. Uh, from uh, we have done something until now. What we have done to promote our country yeah. is that we have a two points to go. Mm. First, we try to keep relationship with the, all the major agents, mm -hmm. also the abroad, partner, abroad. 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 And also, uh, we are keep, you know, visit them mm. one or twice a year in order to... So you fly them. over there? Wow. We have a, we have a partner yes, yes. that he's based on the marketing. Yes. And then he always go for the sales call yes. and visit them once or two so years, yeah, and then we uh, bring them about Cambodia, mm. show them what you can do and you cannot do, mm. and what is new in mm. Cambodia, and then it's it's me that we try to promote more, present more to our mm. partner mm. to understand well about Cambodia, mm. because we sell Cambodia uh, to yes, the yes. yes, you're right, because yeah. your product is Cambodia, yes, because <laughs> it, it's it's quite different than. Uh, other people who sell mug or they sell iPad yeah. or something like this, right? So you, you are in uh, 
uh, you know, in your travel and tour business, you're selling Cambodia. It's quite interesting. Yes. But you, since you are more inbound, you have to go out there, right? Yep. It's which very is, different because which, she's marketing outside of Cambodia. Yeah, yeah it's very yes. So you don't do much domestic uh, national no, uh, promotion. No, no, it's quite interesting. Not at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, and okay. then we also uh, presented to of Cambodia to attend all the tourist affair, mm. tourist fair. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and then keep. Uh, Invite all the product manager, press. Like, what, what do you mean by product? Product is mean, manager is mean like uh, actually the, the company they have one of the products manager yeah. that they produce all the program. Ah, okay. But not only in Cambodia because yeah. they can be selling around so they have to uh, issue all the program for yes. every country. Okay. And then we need them to come to come to Cambodia, yeah, and yeah. then you know. Sometimes I know that some agent they just only know Cambodia mm. by uh, communication only. Mm. They never come, okay. and then we always keep inviting them mm. to be here okay. and to see on spot what you can do in Cambodia mm. and more interesting. Okay, to good. very good, very good. Yeah. So I think we 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 we're gonna call uh, a short break now. Uh, and then we, after that, we will resume, and I will want to hear from you a bit what the, you know, more domestic uh, uh, promotion or marketing, right? All right, Grant. I think now let's focus a bit uh, back home, right? Because the the marketing, uh, I, I think you know there are a few P. Right? Mm -hmm. It's uh, what you have product. Yeah. Price, yep. place, yep. and promotion. Wonderful. And hey, you know, I, look, I uh, <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, so about thirty years ago, I I remember, I, you know, I study a bit of marketing thirty years ago, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you know, getting old now. So uh, earlier, we you know we we sort of distinguish a bit about you know marketing domestically, and Pise was talking more about. How she go out there outside mm -hmm. the country to promote the uh, you know the product, right? So in, in your view, you know, uh, product, price, place, promotion, all these things have to go together, right? Yeah, it's called the marketing matrix. Like we want it, it everything has to come together yeah. uh, perfectly so that you're getting you know the right target customer at the right price and everything works well. So yes, people want to buy your product. Yeah. Basically. So 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 domestically, uh, you see that. From the big company, clearly, they appreciate the value of marketing. But what can you do to instill uh, more, I would say, buying in mm -hmm. from a Cambodian entrepreneur to, to start to see, look, you know, if you, uh, let's say we talk about this condominium, right? If you sell one more condo, one more house in the Boray, right? That will make up for all exactly. your, I mean, your your expenditure in promotion, especially on high margin products like yes. that. I mean, there's there's no reason that the that people you know, the products that have you know high margins that they shouldn't be taking uh, doing more marketing yes. because if like you said, if you sell one more condo, uh, they've made up their entire marketing budget yes. right there, and they're gonna sell more than probably mm -hmm. just one. So, it makes sense to do it, um, but I think that uh, you know when you're talking about you know what they can do the product you know the the, the four p's of mm. marketing um you know it's it's very important that's the strategy side of things that's yeah. when when i was talking earlier about you know the full service marketing mm. uh that's that's why it's so important is you have to look at the you know what the, the four p's of marketing so for example like uh, if you look at um beer Mm. For example, okay. uh, dark beer. Let's look at dark okay. beer. Yeah. So you know, dark beer in the West, it's sold as you know something. It's like hops. It's flavorful. It's okay. it's something uh, you know that people like to drink because it's uh, they 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 enjoy the flavor. They enjoy the taste of it. Here, if you actually look at um, like um, on ABC, for example, yes. if you look on it, on the Chinese character, it's a bu wu. Yeah, it, it means health. Oh. So it's like it's a different thing. They're actually marketing. Um, the, the the dark beer here is a, uh, a a kind of a healthier like something that you know manly, strong you uh -huh. know something okay. that that makes you uh, you know more manly that kind of thing so it's a different you need to look at you can't just and that's something that international brands need to do as well they can't just come over here 
and uh, you know expect to do the same kind of thing here. I don't want to talk bad about yes. any brands, yes, yeah, uh, yeah. Doing, but there's certain brands that come over here and they use the same media that they would use in other countries yes. as well, and and, uh, and they need to kind of localize the stuff yeah, for yeah. The, the, the local team. Um, and that's something that I think that Cambodian companies have a real advantage over because you know. When these international companies do come in and you know they start doing their marketing, maybe they're still using international marketing agencies. Okay, okay. You know, they're not using local agencies who know the, the yes. local Cambodian market. And Cambodian companies, uh, I know you're outbound, so it's a little bit different. <laughs> but uh, Cambodian companies that are here, uh, you know, they have an advantage because they know what Cambodian people want. They know mm. what Cambodian people need. Mm. So, so they they already have this kind of step up on the international company. So what? if they do yeah. spend, then they will probably be mm. better. Uh, so in, 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 in the range, the spectrum of uh, marketing tools, right, mm -hmm. what, what do you see in Cambodia we have now that, uh, you know, uh, other country has and we don't have? Uh, I would say there's not a lot of syndicated research here. Okay. What, what do you mean by syndicated research? Syndicated research is where, like, you, like it's usually where, like, an industry gets together or, like, a... Like a, a toothpaste, right? <laughs> yeah. No. Or soap, right? No, yeah, 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 it's where an industry gets together and they'll spend um, money. Uh, they'll, they'll all come together and they'll spend money to, to fund a research ah, study. These are usually big studies. Yes, but but here you need an association, right? To you need an association, or it, sometimes governments fund these things, ah, okay. or you know NGOs, that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, but they're really helpful because I know in inside of industries. Companies usually want to compete, right? Okay. They're, they're competitors. Yeah. But there are certain times when it makes sense for mm. you know these companies to kind of come together and fund these things because if you fund a research study, uh, everybody's going to be able to go and benefit from that. Every, it's going to bring up the industry as a whole, kind of like a rising tide brings up all boats, right? You know, uh, you mentioned that's quite interesting because I recall a few years ago uh, when we the government just launched the vice uh, uh, promotion mm -hmm. uh, policy. Uh, at that time, you know, not long ago, five years ago, right, 2011, and it's a lot of small rice uh, miller, rice exporter, and they all compete each other. And I tell them that, you know, there are time to compete, mm -hmm. there are time to collaborate. Yeah. Because the main thing is that your, your, your market is out there, you need to sell your rice to Germany, to Poland, to other countries, mm -hmm. so they they like we say we say look uh, let's promote Cambodian, you know as a as as a brand right, mm -hmm. in in the rice industry let's promote Cambodian flagrant rice right, yep. uh, you know Mali or uh, whatever brand we have right, so on their own they didn't understand it, so they 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 don't join hand yeah. and they find that ultimately they hurt themselves, mm -hmm. so. Later on, I think there was a uh, the Ministry of Commerce organized a, a mission to Thailand, mm -hmm. and we took them to see the Rice uh, Federation of Thailand. And how they cooperate, and so they took the the, the, the Kambun rice miller to a huge place, mm -hmm. right? And they said, "Wow!" So you have all of that. Say yes. When we promote, we promote Thai rice, and then we get a big order. We divide. Okay, mm -hmm. your mill, your rice mill, you can do you know, 5,000 tons, right? Okay, you yeah. have 5,000. The other one, big one, 20,000, fine. So you see, their goal is to go out there as a group, as a country, and promote, mm -hmm. right? And then from there, you know, you divide up, see? So you're right. There are time to promote, mm -hmm. there are time to compete, right? And in, in the case of Pise, she's doing more favor to yeah. other people that didn't even know. Yeah. Because when those uh, uh, tour people coming off the plane, a hundred people, where they go? They stay in a hotel, they spend mm -hmm. money. They go to uh, the market, they spend money. You know, they go eat restaurant, they spend money. Yeah, so, so that's, okay. a, that's the kind of thing where, like, as an industry, they can come together. And it's very expensive if, like, Pise has to go out and promote Cambodia by herself. She yes. has to be the one out there all by herself saying, you know, come to Cambodia, do this, do that. And for research studies, you know, if you have to go out and, you know, fund a research study, all by yourself, it's very expensive, but if, if, if they come together and do that... Uh, what what you, would you advise, uh, say for example, you know, in, in Cambodia now you have a very active uh, Young Entrepreneur Association, Cambodian Women uh, Entrepreneur Association, the Cambodian Investor Club, the CEO Master Club, you have all these grouping already. Mm -hmm. What would you advise them, you know, to along that line, you know? Guys, chip in some money, 
you know, and let's do a study on a particular product. What, what, what would be your advice on that? Hmm. So that they appreciate better the power of a, a marketing. Yeah, I'm not sure, like, because they would all be in different industries, yes, right? Yes. So, um, but you can cluster, though. Yeah, you can cluster. Yeah, I mean, perhaps you know, funding any anything right now. There's just just such a lack of uh, syndicated research mm. in Cambodia. It's really hard for any company mm. uh, because you're you're flying blind a lot when you're mm. doing these campaigns. Yes. You don't have stuff to go like in America. Uh, if you want, if you're doing anything, any kind of advertising, you can just go into Google and search mm. something, right? Mm. And then that's just that's free stuff. That's yeah. not even like paid uh, yeah. paid research reports, yes. and you can get this information. Mm. But it's very difficult mm. to to get that information. So yeah, I mean, if you guys wanted to come together and fund some stuff and you know, talk about it, uh, we can. Yeah, but uh, say, do you do you collaborate with other uh, uh, tour or travel agency or company? Or you just want to look. I just want to keep for myself. <laughs> Actually, we do only a lot. We do alone. Oh, okay. Because uh, our partner, most of them, they know us already. Yeah. And when they decide to work with us, because they believe us. Okay. They know how the service we can provide to mm. them. They okay. know the quality. Yeah. And then what we going to see them mm. year to year because mm. we just only present them the new thing mm. in Cambodia, and then. Maybe something to uh, show them more mm. that ask them try to promote Cambodia. Yeah, bring more clients to Cambodia. But 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 here is is the activity you you do you you invite them to come. But you must have done something nationally uh, to 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 have them confidence in you, right? So you you're dealing with the hotel. Uh, uh, you know, you're dealing with a restaurant, you're dealing with a tour in Siem Reap, you're dealing with a bus line. Yep. All these things are all activity that yep. you are promoting. Yep. We, no, actually before we send them the package tour, yes. we already have all the contract. Ah. We connect each other already. Okay. It means that the client, when they see us, they already have all the package. Yes, yes. Everything, accommodation, transportation, guide, mm. restaurant, everything is included. Actually, okay. in the nation, yeah. we already do the cooperation. Okay. So you are collaborating. Are you doing, is it? Is your business mostly like B to C or B to B? Like are B you, to B only. It's B to B. Mm. So yeah. you're talking with other agents. Yes. Okay. 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 We're not talking directly like, to the client. Oh, We're okay. talking to the travel agent out oh, okay. Uh, okay. at the broad. Okay, okay, okay. So, so it's B two B here. Yeah, yeah B two B uh, business. Yeah, which so is important as well. I mean, B two B, you need to market in that as well. Mm. You know, lots of people, you know, they think because I'm B two B, it's more sales. Mm. Uh, but you're still building up a brand. You're still, uh, you still want to get your story out there because mm. even you know the the companies, the people in those, you know, they still they're going to respect the brand if mm. they know about it. Mm. And uh, even though you're targeting a much smaller uh, yeah. amount of people, it still is an important thing to do. Uh, what what are the challenge you see? Okay, we don't have syndicate uh, industry research. Uh, what else do you think that we we should have? We should do. Besides uh, besides syndicated research, it's really. I mean, I think it's a it's kind of a golden era for for companies uh, marketing here right now. Exactly. It's, it's a very uh, it's a very good time. You know, mediums are cheap. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. You mean IT. I mean, no, I mean, like... It's uh, more than IT, right? It's more than IT. It's every... I mean, uh, you know, radio spots still okay. here. They're, they're cheap. Uh, mm. You know, TVC is not that expensive. Okay. Uh, print ads, and mm. they're, they're, they're decent. Tuk Tuk, don't forget Tuk Tuk. Tuk Tuk, 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 tuk is cheap, and yeah. uh, we, we love Tuk Tuk. So yes, yes. I know we think that they're a great way, because it's mass. You know, everybody can see those. Um, and, and at least you help uh, pass down some money to the Tuk Tuk driver. Yeah, yeah, they they yeah. make some money, right? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, yes, good, yeah. good. Yeah, so... Um, you know, there's there's all these mediums. Uh, the mediums are cheap. Uh, other than that, um, you know, the growth rate here is, is astounding. So, mm. and not that many people are are doing marketing. So, mm. if you are doing marketing, mm. then you know you're that much above the rest of the company. Mm. So, if you start to spend money on this stuff, I think that you'll see. Because in in the mm. West, uh, for example, everybody's spending mm. you know six or seven, eight percent, ten percent, twenty percent of their gross revenues on marketing services. Mm. So, it's a very crowded market, you know, it's very hard to get your message out here. Mm. Here it's still, uh, you know, you have the ability to do that and mm. then you're going to stand out more because yeah, yeah, more I, people I, are seeing I, that, I right? think sometimes just the, the simple 
uh, act of presenting a better business card, mm -hmm. a better logo, a better brochure, uh, or putting a big sign. I see your car; you have that that sticker, right? You know, yeah. uh, you know, uh, your your company yeah, there, company, right? Company uh, logo. The logo. See. Well, and what PC's company does? I mean, they do uh, content marketing as well, which is uh, what, what, what what is content marketing? Content marketing is you know creating actual content that people yes. want to okay. want to read. You're not just you know slapping a logo up and saying yes, you know yes. this is my brand. You're creating mm. stuff. Uh, it's it's normally you know online. Yes. Uh, where people read stuff and, and they yes. want to read it. Yes. So people are actually coming to your mm. thing to, to read it. So if you go, you know, she has a blog and it's pretty well maintained oh, you know, yeah. on yeah. the website. And, uh, oh, so you checked it out already. Yeah, All right, awesome. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, see, see, already you see the fact that somebody yeah. is uh, is uh, checking on you. So, yeah. Which is good because uh, here it linked to the whole world of what I call the new economy, which is all, all uh, internet, all... Uh, IT, you know, mm -hmm. cyberspace, uh, and I think for for every company, if they are not in cyberspace, they they're missing the whole thing. It's very important, especially. I mean, in Cambodia, it's Facebook, right? It's I mean, Facebook. It, it's, yeah. it's Facebook is just so powerful here. Yes. Um, so you know, every company here should be on Facebook, and they yes. should be, you know, even for the the younger, uh, you know. Entrepreneurial businesses that don't have these large marketing budgets. Mm. You know, Facebook is kind of in. Of course, there's mm. there's you know tricks of the trade that yes. you know we have that, that they might have not have. But there's things that you know even without a marketing budget, people who aren't that familiar mm. with face with uh, that they can begin to do. You know, mm. set up a Facebook and just start sharing things like um, you know press releases. Mm. Uh, Articles about your company, mm. uh, you know, just pictures of a cat sitting on your windowsill in your office building. I mean, all kinds of things that just get, you know. Get people Grant, I mean, uh, now I'm back to content again. Facebook is a medium. It's a medium. But uh, you know, company must have good content. Yeah, that's because without content or out of date content or you know misplaced content yeah. it can also backfire Facebook is good but I mean if you don't if you're not putting stuff on it then it's just kind of sitting there idly and sometimes it could actually make you look you know yes. make something look worse if, if somebody comes to your Facebook and there's been no activity for, yes, yes, yes. for a long time so yeah. but there's things that companies produce content whether yeah. they know it or not and okay. they just need to you know they just need to share that stuff yes. so yeah. good well I mean it's almost uh, time to wrap up uh, the second uh, a break, okay? So let's take a short break. We can have some water. <laughs> Say, Grant, uh, we are in the last part now, so I, I want to be uh, a bit uh, bold here. Uh, Cambodia, in terms of uh, technology, I say, uh, you know, uh, process in terms of uh, absorbing the technology, uh, for the last 10 years, we see a, a exponential growth of the use of uh, IT as a medium. Facebook, uh, you know, uh, God knows what else, uh, uh, so many things in this uh, cyber mm -hmm. world. Uh, and thanks to the telecom, uh, we, we, we very fast internet uh, penetration. You go to most of the coffee shop, uh, everybody have uh, a free Wi-Fi. It's a condition sine qua non. So uh, how do you uh, see... Cambodia taking advantage of this uh, massive, cheap, high penetration IT to, to support them? So, I mean, I think it's, it's transforming Cambodia, right? It's opening up Cambodia to, to the world. Yes. Um, and, you know, it's, it's more of this tech, it's, it becomes cheaper and more people have access to it. Uh, you know, the numbers change. It's so hard to even have statistics on mm. this stuff because yeah. they change. Like, as soon as they're out, they're already kind of irrelevant. But it's like, uh, I think it's 40% of uh, Cambodians now have a smartphone, mm. uh, which which is amazing. Um, so, you know, we're starting to get the technology into people's hands where you can, you know, feed everybody. Mm. Uh, for marketing mm. especially, you know, you can reach more and more people mm. through, uh, you know, ICT products, yes. which, which is uh, very important. So businesses need to, that's why I say like all businesses need to kind of uh, be doing things online. You know, every every company, mm. uh, small companies especially, I mean, you should go and Google your company. Ah. Right? I mean, there's... Google yourself. Uh, Google yourself. I, I can't tell you how many companies like we've, we've actually, you know, we just type in the Google and the, you know, the information on the sidebar. Uh, you know, will be wrong. Like, uh, like the address, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Many yeah. times, I tell you. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, you sent me uh, yesterday 
Japan, is this the address, right? And you yeah, send right, it to Google. They, they have it. it. Yeah, they have the it. Yeah, you yeah. guys are good. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, 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 you say, uh, what have you done uh, in uh, cyberspace in terms of uh, internet penetration? What, what sort of thing you done? Now, we just only do, uh, we call a newsletter that we issue monthly, hmm. send to our partner. Okay. That's a... Uh, Like a monthly, we update information. Yes. Like a new hotel, okay. in, oh. a new big event happen yes. and is going to happen, mm. and many things relate to the tourists. We always release monthly by news newsletter, newsletter, and then send to them. By online, right? By, by email, online. Right? By okay. email. And how is your website? The website we also keep updating some activity mm. as well. Mm. We have a person to in charge it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. To always look after it and post something new. Mm. Also the same as a newsletter. Mm. But with a type more detail and more photo. And you have blogs also, right? No. No, you don't have blogs. Yeah. Yeah. But how how yeah, the news on you? Yeah, the yeah. news. Yeah. Yes. And you post things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a blog, right? Essentially, a blog, yeah. It's a blog. Yeah. Well, what's a blog? Well, that that I mean, it's 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 a you know what what she decided to name it. So news blog. I mean, she's she's telling people she's she's having a platform where she's speaking. So is, is that the same thing that hashtag yeah, whatever? Uh, hashtag is uh, Twitter. Right? Twitter, yeah. Oh, okay. So w when people use the hashtag, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, When when do people use that? Do you use that as a marketing or just purely uh, chit chatting? Uh, well, that's to like get your, so that people can come and you know see see what you are, and you go out and then people can search the hashtags. But you say Twitter, and that's an yeah. interesting thing because you know our uh, Mango Tango we actually did a Twitter for Business presentation, okay. and uh, you know that was kind of a controversial thing here because Facebook is so huge. People are like, oh, why uh, you know why Twitter in Cambodia? But mm. um, You give me an example. Don't need to mention the name of the company. Give me an example on, on how do you use that uh, tool, that Twitter, well, it's that you wouldn't use in Facebook, for example. Well, this is something about like who your target audience okay. is. Who are you trying to reach, right? Like, uh, if you're trying to reach a young, you know, twenty-something, thirty-something, okay. you know, Facebook is by far the okay. thing. We, I would say that's the, the top medium for anything. Okay. Uh, you know, but if you're trying to reach the more decision makers, CEOs, that yes, kind of yes. thing, uh, those people are on Twitter. So yes. that's why, you know, it's important. So that's why okay. we say, you know, some people ask, you know, what's the best medium for marketing? What's mm. the best, you know, where should I spend my money? Mm. Uh, I just want to do this. And it totally depends on mm. who you're trying to target. Mm. How, and, and LinkedIn in, what's that? LinkedIn, well, that's more of a personal, you know, ah, that's a, okay. yeah, but, but businesses should utilize that as well. Yes, okay. yes. So, so the tool, That is made available through internet is brought. Yeah, there's there's tons of tools, and they're and they're starting to get picked up. I mean, for a long time, Facebook in Cambodia was the internet. Uh -huh. Like when people they would just go directly to Facebook, and that, that's what that's what people do here. But you know, websites are starting to become important okay. as well. You know, companies okay. before they would be Facebook first; they would just okay. have a Facebook, and uh, now. You know, companies are starting to realize that it's important that they do have a Facebook. That they, I mean, that they do have a website as well. Okay, okay. Then, yeah. So, 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 whether we realize or we know or not, we can see this progress, right? It's happening. No, it's, it's happening, happening quickly. I mean, like, okay, yeah, okay. But I, I think IT is a great equalizer mm -hmm. in, in the sense that, you know, a uh, country like Cambodia, we, we are latecomer in the ASEAN. You okay. know. People say that oh, the CLMB are the last four. You have the ASEAN six, you know, who are more advanced, you know, economically and everything. But I think IT, that's why I say is a great equalizer because you're able to just move up so fast yeah. in the spectrum of information sharing in terms of uh, you know using this tool to promote your country, your and company. You can use it to start. I mean, you can do your own your own businesses too with this, and it's a great. Like if you look at roserve.com, yeah. you know, the, the new online shopping market, I mean, uh, this, this was just a girl, she started doing, you know, like uh, makeup blogs and makeup mm. tutorials and that kind of thing, just putting out content that people really want to see, you yes. know, content marketing, uh, maybe, and, and then, you know, people start to, to like that, and now she's like one of the biggest e-commerce companies in, in Cambodia. Is that right? What, what's the name again? Roserve.com. I would spell it. R-O-S-E-R-B. Oh, Ro Rose. Yeah. So, right. um, and what she sell? She sell so makeup products, oh, wow. and oh, wow. stuff like that. But it's you know it's it's the it's content marketing. She's creating stuff that people really want to see, mm. and then uh, on Facebook, 
on YouTube. On YouTube, yeah. oh, okay. And Facebook. I mean, okay, share yeah. it on Facebook, of sure, course, sure. but, uh, you know, social social media strategy. So. Wow, that's great, that's yeah. great. Well, I mean, so in that sense, we, we're we not doing too bad, right? We're not doing too bad, no. no. In the context of ASEAN, we, we're, not, we, we're yeah. okay? Yeah, doing all right. Yeah. So how, 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 how do you uh, now, if we want to fast forward Cambodia five years from now, what do you see the the trend, you know, particularly for the young entrepreneur? How can they in five years time, or at least catch up with the neighbor? What what should they do? Well, five years, it's like a, it's an eternity. No, uh-huh. but um, <laughs> you know, just uh, I think that you know, keep keep doing more uh, more marketing. Spend uh, you know, spend that budget. Uh, catch up is is the competition moves in. Hmm. You know. People are going to realize that they have to. They have to be doing this stuff, yes. and uh, it's very quickly. You know, Cambodia is changing so quickly, and if, if companies are not doing this, then then they will get left behind, sadly. Mm. But uh, you know, there's the opportunities. As I said before, it's the golden age mm. for marketing in Cambodia, mm. so companies have uh, you know, endless opportunities to, to get out there and engage people. And uh, you know, the, the other thing about Cambodia too is there's so much opportunity to. to New products, right? Mm, They're products okay. that people haven't really uh, had a use for before. You mm. know, like uh, certain personal care products. Um, yeah. You know, there's a good Listerine in like the 1880s yeah. in, in America. Uh, that's when Listerine was invented. You know, yeah. the stuff, the mouthwash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then nobody ever bought this thing for like 50 years. It wasn't until the 1930s that they started doing marketing for it. And, you know, maybe they had 100,000 sales or something, but then in the 1930s they did. You know, huge marketing campaign about bad breath, yeah. and then uh, they made people feel like, oh, bad breath is a bad thing. You need to have good breath, yes, and, yeah. and it became a cultural thing in America that you had to have good breath. Mm. And then uh, all of a sudden, you know, their sales shot up to the millions, and wow. they were making you know the money. So that you have that same opportunity here. Uh, there's new product categories that mm. are not you know that haven't really taken hold here yet, mm. and you know if you can market those uh, to the Cambodians, then you could change habits and then people might start using this as well. So, 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 so here is an opportunity for creative entrepreneur yes. to start uh, looking what Cambodia has that is uh, unexplored, exactly. unexploited, exactly. and then use the medium of IT, mm-hmm. of the internet, of the various tools available there to promote. It's a business exactly. in itself. Exactly. It's a business yeah. in itself. Yeah. It's quite interesting. Yeah. Say any idea you you think in How do you see your company five years down the road? What would you do more different? Uh, actually, according to the technic- technology, yes, we saw that the trend of the traveling, yeah, it changed. Yes. Oh, yeah. Last time is more people is coming to us through agent. Yes. Travel agent from abroad. Yes. But now we start to have some people are locked in direct to us. Oh. Okay. It means that through the internet, they can contact us directly. C to B. Yes, B to C. B to C, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then this, uh, this, this is a thing that all dream concerning. It means like we want to improve it to reach this market. Yes. Because people, even when they're traveling now, they start to concern more about the prices. Mm. So they... Some of them, they have a feeling that goes through agency, it's more expensive than they go direct to agent. Okay. So that's why now we try to upgrade ourselves to reach this level. But we're still on the processing. <laughs> ah, okay. But, but I think life is easier to deal B2B, right? You deal... You cannot fly to meet everybody, uh, right? <laughs> Actually, it's different. B2B, we can target more for the group. Yes. And B2C is for individual only. Okay. If it's more than 10 pack, it's not easy to organize them. Oh, okay. Because everyone will attack us okay. every day about this, about that. <laughs> but in the, in the B2B, it means the agent at the broad, they already uh, discussing and found out the bad thing and then mm. go to us only one time. You know, I, we, our family, we, we try to go on vacation, you know, a couple of times a year. But uh, we cheat, you know. We, we go, <laughs> we go Air, Airbnb, ah. right? And I have my daughter, you know, book all the, you know, hotel or not the hotel is the the room, right? Uh, so, two experience, and we told her that Rosette, next time, you know, you have to improve 
because when she check, you know, it, it's a nice room, right? Nice kitchen mm -hmm. thing. But there's no elevator. Ah. And we're like on the fourth floor. And you know, when travel, have the luggage, you know, and say, oh, the next time you have to check, make sure if uh, it's on the third, yeah. fourth floor, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, we have to carry the luggage. So you see, it, 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 it's quite interesting. But we save a lot of money. Yeah. We save a lot of money that uh, will go to the hotel. I mean, you know. Yeah. But it, it's more fun, you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's amazing that you now we have the possibility to plan our own trip without much uh, to spend a lot of money. Well, I'm sure it's something that's changing in your industry as well. Like, you know, you are getting more individual people wanting to come here. Like, it's like China, like, there's yeah. more individual travelers coming from. from uh, I, uh, you know, when people come to Cambodia, do they use now? Uh, do they have, do we have Airbnb in Cambodia? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. When, when I first came to Cambodia, I actually uh, stayed in Airbnb. So okay. I could, like, meet some people. In the All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. so, so you see, competition is coming. You have to be. Uh, we uh, we know the trade now. That's why we are studying, trying to upgrade ourselves to this yes, this level. Yeah. Okay. You to see that. Yeah. Meet to see. Meet to see. So all in all, I, I think uh, uh, now we understand better, or at least uh, the. Uh, uh, I hope the, the young entrepreneur there would uh, listen to our show and then give them some idea. You know? yeah. But anyway, Grant could say we're coming to the end of uh, our program and uh, let me just wrap up very quickly and then we can uh, say that uh, it's been a pleasure to have you mm. in the show. Anyway, uh, I think from what I get from our short discussion here is that uh, marketing is a must. Uh, for entrepreneur, for a young entrepreneur, particularly uh, as they are more IT savvy, they they appreciate better the, the the power technology of the internet and the various tools that they have. And according to Grant, I, he feel that it's not utilized enough, uh, and we should be focusing more on investing into marketing if we are to compete. Number one, not just among ourselves nationally, but to compete with bigger company who are coming to our country because they do advertise, they do marketing and they will get name recognition, brand recognition. So us locally, we also have to, you know, appreciate the, the power of marketing. But bear in mind that now it's cheaper and cheaper. There's more tool available, maximize that. And hopefully you can use this uh, tool, you know, as a, as a way to also create new business opportunity, as Grant has mentioned earlier. So on that note, I hope you enjoyed the show, and I'll see you next week. Good night.